here in the lovely University of Wyoming Studio Co. Voice Box Studio, and I'm really excited to talk with you a little bit about your experience as a Gear Up student and as a college student. Hi, uh, yeah, my name is Christian. I began my, I guess you could say, Gear Up journey with the Gillette Community College Gear Up division. The Gear Up program is what helps me get to where I am today, not only as a student, but also as a Gear Up ambassador. So it's good to be here. By the way, what is your major? Oh, man, maybe I shouldn't mention that. <laughs> um, I'm majoring in Spanish and I'm minoring in French. So Christian, since you have come to the University of Wyoming, how has your experience been? Pretty smooth, actually. It was nice because when I first started here, it was it was a little weird because my freshman year was 2020. So that was like midst of the pandemic. It was like nothing was normal. So like I got a whole dorm to myself. I didn't get to see people, but I had people around me that kind of helped the transition a little bit smoother. So like before I even started at the university, I had a gear up member. I had Celeste find a hotel room so that my family could come down and help me unpack into my dorm. I had a lot of people helping me find scholarships and stuff, like my Daniels Fund scholarship. There's not very many problems, I would say, like financially, that I run into since I've started college. So it's been a really good experience. College in Wyoming, as we know, is pretty affordable across the board, but, you know, it's still pretty expensive. I'm sure that was nice, having the Daniels Fund scholarship. It's nice because it's not just helping me pay for classes, but it also helps me, like, finance my living situation and like find food because they like factor in how much money you would use for like housing in your food budget and they just give you the money so that you can like budget throughout the year so you don't have to pay out of pocket for any of your school or life expenses while you're in college so it's really nice yeah, that sounds super nice so yeah tuition and fees um do they also provide you with any funding for books yeah yeah books are as we know can be pretty yeah, they're like the most expensive part about being in school. They'll send you a reimbursement if you used any of your personal money for the books. What do you think things would have been like if you, you know, hadn't gotten the Daniels Fund scholarship? I think the main thing that the Daniels Fund helps me out specifically is that I don't have to worry about like housing costs and food. All of the money that I make when I work, I get to put that in savings, which is not something that a lot of college age students get to have. Like people don't get to have a savings account and I'm very lucky in that way. Are you planning to study abroad at all while you're here at the university? With the Daniels Fund, one of the things they do is they pay for your full study abroad trip if you take a full year. I'm planning on going to Spain. I'm gonna just try and take care of the degree and then use my study abroad to become more integrated into the cultures that I'm studying. What was it like applying you know, for the Daniels Fund Scholarship. How did you hear about it? Like, how did you even go about getting that started? Kristen Young at Europe told me about it. She was like, she was just telling me how I qualify for the program. And I had no idea what my qualifications were or anything like that. But I was just like, if Kristen Young said I should do it, then I'll do it. And I never <laughs> regretted that decision. Like, it was the best decision I've made, I think. I guess when you start applying for the Daniels Fund, uh, I mean, you have to write your essay as you do with like everything. There's like three separate essays you have to write, I think, and they're not very long and they're not very difficult. And they want people, the Daniels Fund is particularly looking for people who are going to be able to like help the community that they live in once they finish college. So um, I just wrote about how the community has helped me and how I wanted to help the community. And then they would review my essays, decide if you're the right fit. And then there was an interview process. What was the interview like? I was maybe a little more nervous for the interview than I should have been. It was a really simple interview. You just um, meet them at a separate location. It was like just a few towns over. We went to like this big convention hotel and it was really, I thought, really fancy. And they just took a picture of you, like a nice headshot. You dress in like, of course, business apparel. Just make sure you look nice and professional. And then you show when you show up, they just ask you a couple of questions very similar to the essay questions, just to sort of see what kind of person you are. The Daniels Fund uh, is more about morals. They really just care about making sure that the people that they're giving money are good people that are going to help support the community. That sounds great. It sounds like a lot of our students probably are also maybe up to the task. I think one thing with scholarships is that 
everyone thinks that you have to have like a 4.0 GPA or like a 36 on the ACT or yeah. something. Let me tell you, I got a 26 on the ACT, which is my good. Fourth try. <laughs> also I good that you retook tries. it. Super happy to hear that. Yeah, well, I got a 26 on my ACT on the fourth try and I had like a 3.5 GPA and I still got the full ride scholarship that I got. I feel like I'm a really good example of that anyone can get a good scholarship. It doesn't take top of the class numbers. You don't have to be at yeah, 99th percentile or anything to, to qualify. So Christian, do you have anything else that you would like to tell, you know, maybe gear up participants in the program who really want to go to college and, and would love to go to college on a full ride scholarship? The best piece of advice that I can give is just to apply for every scholarship that you can find. Like if you think that you fit the requirements, you should apply for the scholarship. The worst they can do is tell you no, that you didn't receive the scholarship. So it's always worth trying. I think I got seven scholarships, but that's still enough that if I didn't have the Daniels Fund, I would still be able to cover all of my costs of tuition without having any out of pocket fees. So I think that if you're just asking for help and applying for everything that you can, then there's, you're gonna do fine. Well, Kristen, thank you so much for joining me today here at the University of Wyoming. It was super exciting to learn about your time here at the university and the scholarships that you were able to take advantage of. Yeah, it was good to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So stay tuned for our next interview, which will be in the spring. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>